hi in this session I will be letting you know regarding the feature called envelope and for that I will open the pre-existing part which we always which we already made and that part is circular assembly as you know in our last session we made the same part this part consists of the plate bolts and the nuts in an assembly now what is an envelope envelope is nothing but a transparent part in which we can see what goes in what comes out everything and I have you can see into the option insert envelope this is the feature and in this feature there are two things new and from file new means you want to create a new envelope or you want to create from file I will say from file because I have already created two envelopes envelope and envelope 1 so I will open envelope in this case double click look I want to place my envelope over here left click as I said you what is envelope envelope is nothing but a transparent part can you see this part this is a transparent part now you will be thinking like how the envelope is made envelope is nothing but a rectangular slab which I made according to my usage because I wanted a rectangular slab slab to act as envelope so what you need to do is like just create any part save it and when you save it you need to open through the option called insert envelope and from file then when you open from this option it becomes an envelope an envelope can be any any of the part which we made and that part if you open from this option from file then it becomes transparent now such kind of now what to do with the envelope go here and see I want to make it here and yes it is at some distance now what to do why an envelope is made an envelope is made for complex features like the suspension parts the engine assembly or the transmission parts or any of the parts where there are n number of parts and you want to know like how many parts are outside the envelope or how many parts are inside the envelope or how many parts are crossing the envelope and if you're missing some of the parts then you will come to know so let's say this is a very general example not a precise example but yes we'll start so once the envelope is loaded with the part go to the configurations and you'll find an envelope when you find this envelope here in this option right click and you'll find some options out of which the first option is select using envelope so left click when you left click you'll see again many options select components so there are three things inside envelope outside envelope and crossing envelope as I said you now what we find is we'll select the first option inside envelope so it shows like how many parts are inside the envelope make it okay look nothing is highlighted here which means no of the parts none of the parts are inside the envelope inside means this is where this this thing area which is crossing the envelope here is inside the envelope this all parts are inside the envelope outside the this is outside this becomes see nothing is highlighted which, which means nothing is inside the envelope this is the envelope this is inside and this is outside now we'll come to know what is outside left click select outside deselect inside and make it ok look the color of the parts has been changed which means all these parts the nuts the bolts and the plate all the three things are outside the envelope nothing is inside and all these things are outside now again what I'll be doing is the third option but click here before the third option you know I need to say I will bring the envelope 
close and I will place my envelope over here okay this is a good place to place an envelope and now we'll see okay we can also see something like if I place it over here if anything is crossing the envelope of course I can see that nothing is crossing the envelope right now but still I want to know so select using envelope and crossing the envelope and make it ok look nothing is highlighted so nothing is crossing the envelope but what does crossing means ok I will let you know what does crossing means after some time but before that I will move this envelope as I told you over here somewhere yes ok again all the three options select using envelope start from the inside one ok so here it will let me know what are the parts inside the envelope any guesses make it ok look one two and three three parts are highlighted so which means three parts are inside the envelope you know why the plate is not highlighted why the bolts are not highlighted only the three parts are highlighted the parts <coughs> sorry the parts which are completely inside the envelope are highlighted so it should be completely inside if it is completely inside it is highlighted which means it is inside the envelope but this parts the bolts and the plates some are outside some are through these are through parts inside and outside so they are not highlighted so only three parts are inside the envelope which are completely inside now again select using envelope outside the envelope ok look these bolts, these nuts are completely outside the envelope that's why they are highlighted but why the plate is not highlighted because it is a little bit inside the envelope it is not completely outside so that is not highlighted so when the plate will be highlighted <coughs> definitely the plate will be highlighted in the crossing envelope let's see ok look the plate is highlighted because it is crossing the envelope it is not inside it is not outside so it is crossing it you can also see this bolts are highlighted because they are entering from one end and they are coming out from the other end so that's the reason why they are crossing the envelope but these nuts are not highlighted although these nuts are completely inside yes they are not crossing they are inside so that's why they are not highlighted so crossing is some other term now what we'll do is I will delete this envelope again I, I want to delete from how I will delete the envelope here right click delete yes now again insert envelope from file I made this envelope Th this is same envelope but this is a bit bigger a little bit bigger again now you know how many parts are inside the envelope and how many parts are outside and also you know the crossing but when you make this over here you know over here somewhere or let's say over here somewhere like this is it okay or like this is there any difference let's see inside the envelope very similar only the nuts are inside 
what is outside as you know the bolts and the nuts over here is yes and what about the plate yes plate is crossing so this is crossing and look the plate and this nuts so it's almost one and the same but we can we also have one more option hide show using analog well, what is this it's show parts components so inside which means show part components which are inside the envelope so it will only show the parts which are inside the envelope and what about the rest if a component doesn't meet the criteria this is a criteria this is a criteria this three then hide it or leave it show hide series I generally use hide it so it shows the parts the components which are inside the envelope and the rest will be hidden okay look only three parts are inside and the rest is hidden very necessary option if there are multiple number of parts the small number of, of you know lots and lots of parts whether they are bolts or nuts or some springs or rocker arm or you know lots and lots of parts then definitely you will come to know how many parts are inside it good option click here nothing is happening show hide now I will see what are the parts outside the envelope and the rest will be hidden ok look very good feature these are the parts outside the envelope and everything else is hidden so you can calculate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 very easily and you can also see that gap of the plate and how the nuts are there the assembly many things you can see you know it gives a good visualization one more thing show hide using envelope crossing envelope so only the plate will be visible because it is crossing and few nuts few bolts rest everything will be hidden yes the plate look now the plate is without nuts and bolts because they are completely outside so this is crossing it such type of things are used in suspensions as I told you to get the actual actual view of what could be done and if at all you are missing some parts using this feature envelope definitely will come to know and according to me it really helps to let you know about various things so this was about envelope now I will show you another feature but for that I will close this thing first because, and I don't want to save this thing and the another feature is very simple called text for that I will open part and I will make a new part very quickly in the front plane and you see how quickly I am making it for you to understand trim how to trim everything this 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 and also this features extrude 10 ok nothing very critical the part I made what I wanted and now I will use the option called text text tools and sketch entities text now how to use the text and why to use the text why to use you know no need to explain but how to use is click on the surface anywhere okay and you want to write something here write solid wax look when you type it comes here but I don't want it here I want it here somewhere so click here if you say no I don't want your I want your click here wherever you want click 
anywhere in the surface this becomes outside the surface which has no value but if it is yes inside the surface yes you can really make it outside the surface only acts as a sketch but here it it will help us to produce an application for it okay so when it comes here somewhere what you can do with it you can play with it really like if you know excel or you worked with word microsoft word or excel or powerpoint or anything yes then it's very simple it's a child's it's a cup of you know cakewalk so it's like bold you can make this thing bold this is bold this is normal again this is bold italic yes this is italic rotate look it rotates when it rotates this is R30 30 degrees rotation you want it 60 this 60 you want it 90 90 you want it you know say 180 <laughs> look it goes down you want it uh, 450 okay you want it say 45 and look yeah definitely this is rotation but I want it I don't want rotation I'll close this thing radius should be uh, uh, radius should be zero wait a second no I'm not able to enter because this is not italic this is rotation this is okay back to the normal solid works now this is made I want solid works away over here somewhere but what if let's say mm, many things can be done using these options what to do we can play like this option is activated A to B, B to A this is A to B, A is S and this becomes a B from A to B it starts solid works you click here solid works starts from here so S O L I D W R K solid works again click here normal now use document font untick when you untick what you can do you can play look the distance of A how the letter A should be it is hundred percent so we'll make increase it look the letter size is increasing look when it goes totally the letter size is increasing the height remains the same hundred hundred wait my numbs lock is not working yeah it's working hundred and this is A to B like distance between A and B look the letter and the height remain the same but only the distance increases look look clearly only the distance is increasing but letters are not increasing look so again I'll make it 100 okay now I can select the edge what happens very imp these were the options hidden these one two three four five six but how to activate these options like you can place the solidworks anywhere but if you want to touch very close to the lines then yes you make it over here I want solidworks over here yes when it becomes when it brings over here you'll see these options like this is left align this is right align center align the solidworks move in the center right align solidworks moves towards the edge like it touches the right edge it also touches the bottom one now what is justify fully justify yes from start to end solidworks is senior 
now what is a this is top bottom like this is the line and the solid works is above now click this yes the solid works moves down but a to b remains the same only the solid works is moving down s o l i d w r k s okay it's flipping flipping but a to b remains the same now if you want to change this a to b b to a so solid works is flipping and also starting from the other end it starts from solid works similarly when you click here see that two edges selected and to delete one edge when I delete it comes to edge one and see I can see SOLIDWORKS over here but I want SOLIDWORKS at the bottom so flip it yes it comes from bottom but when it is coming from the bottom the SOLIDWORKS starts from here sorry SOLIDWORKS it starts from here but it is flipping look it was here I made it down now but this is the mirrored image so I don't want the mirror image click A to B oh I clicked A to B but this solid works went over here now flip it now click again B to A solid works now what to do in this case it should be st it should start from your so LID WRKS down flip it look in any case this is not ready to come where I want it properly just what you need to do is try you know just you need to try that is the ultimate ultimate solutions so for it make it normal delete this edge solid works and click here not not this not this delete this edge I will let you know this also click here click here very close yes you can make the solid works very close this is very close so this can be done it is possible now again about the circular make this part select this edge look left align so SOLIDWORKS starts from your SOLID flip it it goes up <coughs> and uh, center one SOLIDWORKS comes here right SOLIDWORKS comes now we'll justify it yes it starts from SOLID WRKS works flip it look it comes outside change this thing SOLID WRKS and again flip it it comes here now B to A SOLID SOLIDWORKS so this can be done now this is S3 now I'll also select this edge which is now look SOLIDWORKS starts from here I also select this edge so SOLIDWORKS starts from S O L I D W R K S. it completes this now I will delete this edge delete it there are two edges this and this I also select this edge so SOLIDWORKS starts from here so this is how it works now I will delete all these edges delete 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 all the edges are deleted and I want the solid box to be very simple oh yeah okay <coughs> very simple nothing much and this is linked to property uh, advanced option not I generally don't use this option now this is done I want it you know let's say over here only and if it is okay done now you can see the sketch you see the sketch directly go to features and extrude it 
I want extrusion to be 3 mm. Okay. Close. Go close. Make it okay. Yes, you can see the engravings. The engravings are OEL. Look how good it looks and without any pains to make it. Again, you know what happens if you go to like tools, the sketch entities, text, select the plane, and here you select okay, version 1.1. 1 .1. You know, some video, and you just you know make it okay. After making it okay, what you do is. Mm, features you can also do extrude cut when you do the extrude cut 3 mm okay this is done look here go close you know this embossing work is done how the features are looking you know such kind of things can be made through the option called text so now we'll close this thing and I don't want to save this thing okay so a new feature <coughs> will be taught to you and the feature name is interference detection for that we'll open an assembly part which we have already made you know gear mates yes I'll open this assembly and I'll let you know look there's an error make it know that's okay I have made and assembly before in our tutorials like there are two axles and one connecting hub and uh, th this is a key slot where the gear is fixed similarly over here so, and you know let's look it rotates so that's okay but how the option of interference detection works for it you need to go to evaluate the assembly layout sketch and evaluate when you come here you'll find an option interference detection left click look when you left click it shows a pop-up interference detection click calculate to begin the interference calculation directly nothing to do anything calculate look it comes here no interference here we need interference and it shows there is no interference sometimes you know in fits we need interference like this is the fit if it contains no interference then definitely there will be some kind of clearance and it will be a very loose fit and if we don't want the loose fit it will create a problem so when this key goes inside the key slot it should be hammered or it should be pushed with the uh, force and definitely there will be a little bit of interference interference might be 0 0.1 0 0.2 whatever but there will be it shows no interference and definitely there is a problem you need to make you need to design in such a way that there should be some interference which is the GDNT you need to learn GDNT well this topic is SOLIDWORKS and not GDNT so I won't be letting you about GDNT but yes you need to learn if you are an engineer in making such parts okay there is no interference it shows very clearly but that's okay we'll do something for and now what I'll be doing is okay I got something I got some results now go to the assembly insert components browse I want to insert a spur you know over here somewhere so if I'm you know making a spur like this this should mate with this as I told you earlier yes it goes concentric yes very good and when it goes inside you know this is a key slot I'm a champ you know I'm a champ if uh, I, I don't need I can just see and I can just insert it over here somewhere yes done man mate if I do such things and you know I don't know what is going to happen 
I can see that yes it fits inside properly and now I will directly go and go to evaluate interference detection when I go over here it shows calculate ok I will calculate it look what kind of interference I can see in this it is a red colored area there is lots and lots of interference like the back side of the spur gear is touching the housing this is the housing there is interference I got to know there are not one this is the second interference you can see look because I not fixed the sides the mating of the sides of top and bottom and sides so again the red mark portion is interference so this much is the interference which you can calculate actually and it shows like how much is the interference 25.32 millimeters millimeter cube is the interference the volume it shows here it shows the volume maximum here a little bit of interference over here from the top side with the volume and fourth interference oh over here between the two gears so design of the gears is also not proper so nothing is proper here you know now we'll close this thing because I come to know <coughs> about the interference and if I came to know what I will be doing is I will try to fix one or two sides like the mates this mate this mate with this okay coincident and the sides should also meet that's okay this should mate with this it goes inside coincident mate I don't know now how this is will work but when I revolve it rewards properly it also co doesn't comes out okay now we'll go to evaluate interference and calculate look there is no interference everything is fixed the four errors which I made is now actually fixed definitely I want some interference over here but for now on the level where there was four interference now there is no interference very good this is a good improvement with this tool of interference so such things can be made like where there is some kind of you know um, relative motion between two parts like uh, the wheels the axles especially the power transmission things uh, the motors uh, which are moving the stator and the rotor the turbine blades which are moving so all the rotating equipments uh, are there uh, has some kind of um, interference so such interference can be checked if at all you are making a mistake this is a kind of cross check point a checkpoint where you can stop the interference or else if you have some interference then definitely your assembly is not going to work if at all it works then it breaks and it creates problems so uh, such kind of evaluation tools are really helpful in making an assembly work successful thank you